What's up YouTube, in this video I'm gonna show you the struggles I faced while turning this into this. Let's go! Hey yo, I am ZW and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Every single view is a step closer to helping me make it as a full-time art YouTuber. So I just wanna say, I appreciate you. Now, time to expand my Power Rangers collection. Let's sculpt. The main reason why Zack was harder to sculpt is because of how expressive he was in the series. I couldn't find enough reference photos for a neutral expression. When I was combing through the series, I got a wide range of expressions that made his features such as the eyes or the eyebrows very inconsistent. This would be the preferred expression on any one six skill head sculpt. This is him happy I guess. His eyebrows are so far upwards compared to its neutral position. I'm sorry this bird outside, hold on. Don't wait, bird. Don't wait, bird. Don't wait, bird. I'm sorry, where was I? Right, different expressions. So this is him worried. His eyebrows are all arching upwards. This is him surprised. And even sometimes when it's neutral, his eyebrows are still lifted up. And obviously, when he looked downwards or upwards, the shapes of his eyes will change a lot. I'm not blaming him for being expressive. I'm just saying with my current knowledge of facial anatomy, I can't sculpt without references. As for Kim, I actually don't know exactly why I couldn't get her likeness right. But generally, female faces are harder to sculpt because their features are softer, so there aren't many landmarks on the face that you could rely on when sculpting. So after multiple failures, WDF. Somebody just kill me. These are the results I managed to achieve. It's still not the best, but they will do for now. In the Falcon and Winter Soldier video, I went in depth on the printing process. But what happens after printing? Well, there's a lot of post processing involved. First, you gotta remove those supports, which are basically a series of branches that is supporting the head while printing. Once they are all snapped off, it is vital that you give the print a thorough, thorough brushing in 99% concentration IPA because there will be liquid resin residues on the print itself which will become tacky and affect your painting if not removed completely. After cleaning it, you gotta put the print under UV light to further cure it which hardens it even more and that's not it. Most of the time after removing the spots, there will still be artifacts left over on the print so you gotta snap them off and sand it smooth. After cleaning up, if you want to make copies, you gotta make a mold, then you gotta make cast, then you gotta paint. And when you take photos to show off your work, you have self-appointed experts on the internet criticizing your work like it's nothing, like you are nothing, like you have no feelings. Mother son. Clearly, I have too much disappointment built up throughout the years. I'm sorry you have to see that. But as I've mentioned, there are essentially two routes that you can take after your print is ready. You can choose to make a mold if you want to make copies to sell or in this case, I want to make more to send the actors as a gift. Or you can just paint it directly on the print itself. What's the difference? Uh, if your mold is well made, you won't have to go through hours of printing or the cleaning, curing, sanding, post processing every time you want the heat. Just cast and you're ready to paint. Speaking of which, I did receive a lot of inquiries about buying the head sculpts I've made and it's really complicated when it comes to licensing and stuff. The simple answer is, I don't have the license to sell, hence I'm not selling. So I'm really not earning anything from making these figures. That's why you need to subscribe like the video, share it, comment on it so that more people can see it and who knows, maybe one day my channel will get discovered by Hasbro or Hot Toys and my sculpts will be available to you. Hey, thank you for making it this far. If you like this video, make sure to paint the button blue so that YouTube will recommend it to people like yourself. 
Stay to the end of the video to see a sneak peek for next week's content. Thanks for the help guys. Next week on ZW Creations. mine.